Hey guys, we're watching Smiling Friends and doing a drinking game. The rules are on screen right now and in the description. If you want to see us do other drinking games, comment them down below and get this video to 10,000 likes. If you guys want to see the full commentary with every single drink, then head over to Patreon that cops us spilling the milk. And subscribe so Charlie can be happy. Pim, can we watch something else? It's, it's, it's about to get really good. It's about to get really good. Now, the thing is, Jack is literally Charlie. <laughs> Poor is literally this red dude. I forgot his name. You think you're Pim, bro? You I love kids, kids, huh? No, I'm Glep. No, you're not, nah, bro. You're not the guy who lives in the walls? No, I am not. I'm Glep. Bro wishes he was Glep. You guys don't have a problem watching someone eat, do you? Not really, no. Um, no, go, no, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. I love this moment, dude. It makes me happy, yeah. I started feeding again after I saw the scene initially. Yeah, what's your rep set? What's your feeding rep set? My one rep max is like 12,000 a minute. I told you, silly. No biting, okay? Oh my god, this shit is so... <laughs> Do we have to drink every time you laugh? Yes, yes. No? What? <laughs> Hey, little buddy, how are you doing? Oh my god! Whoa, 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 oh whoa, 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 whoa! Looks like someone is sad. This dude has the best interior design ever. He's got one poster up and he couldn't even <laughs> fucking line it up properly. He's got like some weird anime poster too. Yeah, it's some like canceled anime from the 90s. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? Oh, come on. That's nonsense, Charlie. We've never given up on a job so far. Dude, oh, he's being optimistic, second. bro. Ah! Oh, my, sh oh, my knee is shot, man. That hurt. Uh, it hasn't been the same since I tripped on that banana peel in the banana factory. Like in public? Dude, you can probably get compensation for that or something. Bro, you got old man knees. I tried asking the company to at least give me some bananas as payment, and they wouldn't even do that. How am I supposed to get my potassium? Maybe trying out some old school law firm or something? I can barely finish reading a Twitter post. How am I supposed to deal with all that paperwork? Plus, Cor can't drive. How's he gonna get to an office? Well, if you're not trying to fall asleep doing paperwork, I heard Morgan and Morgan ain't got much of that. Really? But they're probably really expensive. Jack was telling me they're literally free unless you win, which is kind of crazy. Plus, they've helped people win millions. Morgan and Morgan don't settle for low offers. Yeah, $12 million in Florida, 34 times the highest insurance offer for this poor person who got in a life-altering car crash. I could buy at least a couple crunch wraps with that. If that banana company is so big, you'll probably want America's largest injury law firm. They'll try and take on a banana peel no matter how big. And you can find out if you have a case in only a few minutes. Whoa, you weren't lying. There's only like seven things I gotta type to get my case evaluated. Yup. If you've ever seriously gotten hurt, your case could be worth millions. And you're only a few clicks away from changing the trajectory of your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash milk. Or click the link in the description. Did you take a paper clip? I counted 74 last time and now there's only 73. Oh my god, the video of the dude! Oh the my floor. god! That guy is so fucking sick, dude. Uh, hey, sorry to bother you, but... There's something funny about this scene that he wouldn't just close the tab. He has to physically cover it with his hands. I I'm pretty sure Finn Wolfhard voices yeah. that guy. Yeah, yeah he does. This is my new pal Desmond. Uh, he's been feeling a bit blue lately, so I wanted to show him one of the best things life has to offer. Quality family times. I, I love every, like, interaction with, like, a different group of people is, like, so completely different. Like, the levels are so vastly different. Like, this guy's at a zero energy level. And then there's, like, six babies running in the background. Stephen! Get in here and sit at the dinner table! Your son's home! Oh, would you shut the f up, woman? This needs to be in the background <laughs> over some Osu gameplay. You know, the amazing thing about re-watching this show is, like, I, I never noticed that Desmond's fupa literally spills out over the table. <laughs> would you like to be our friend? Whoa! What the f***, dude? Don't touch me! Oh, no, I'm sorry. Dude, what the f***? Oh, the rotoscope dude. He's iconic. So this was rotoscope. That means the model, like his head was actually shaped like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man, Zach Hadel. I love how absolutely disgusting the rotoscope dude looks. Like he has like four strands of hair. Desmond has more hair on his head than the guy with like the greatest confidence of all time. Fucking Caillou has more hair than this motherfucker. Do you feel any better? Mm. Yeah, I guess. Charlie, we did it. Successful mission. For a bit. I know that I'm dead. Optimism. Someone's sad. 
Are the best parts of life really just finding momentary distractions to keep yourself busy so you don't think about the harsh realities of life for a second? This part was so deep, bro. Why is there no Sigma edits made of this scene? Depression is not Sigma, Jack, okay? You take that back right now. Well, depression is Sigma. Andrew Tate is depressed now because he's in prison. You have to do it, man. He's so echoey. Oh yeah, he loves murdering people. And a hair transplant. That's so beautiful, dude. We'll take control. Blibly control. Call now. I think they should take a cut of his profits because they made him discover his passion in life. Oh, we have to drink every time someone dies. Do we have to drink for every single Blibly that died? Yes. I'm Mr. Frog. This is my show. I eat the bug. I think this is the best episode. Am I wrong? I yes. Rumors suggest the studio is looking to keep the show going and are even considering auditions to replace his character. Man, they can't just replace Mr. Frog like that. They don't got like a 16 by 9 TV. Like that's They're how like broke their, <laughs> <laughs> their workplaces. They got the 4 by 3 television. That's the shit they played the Pledge of Allegiance on in elementary school, bro. Has anyone seen Glamp? I don't think he came into work today. Uh, no, uh, no I don't sorry, think so. We should have made a drinking game every time Glep spits. Oh, someone died. I'm Mr. Frog. Hey. Yes? Get out. Now. <laughs> is that a picture of Mr. Frog with Bill Clinton? Oh my god, it is. I never noticed that. Is this some kind of joke? I don't even want to see you perform. The fact that there's like a dun, like a trailer done sound effect whenever he spits. All right, I had to be sure. That seals the deal. Congratulations, you're the new Mr. Frog. Dude, the Mr. Frog Jesus painting in the background. I never noticed how much shit there is in the background of Mr. Frog. There's so many details. We're here to help you get your show back. Yeah, helping people smile is what we do best. Oh, hello. Come in, hello. Oh my God, he said it. He said it twice. If I don't get my job back on the Mr. Frog show, I'll lose it all. Hello. What the fuck is this drinking rule that you did? It's like every sentence he <laughs> says, Jack. What about just apologizing for putting the TMZ reporter in your mouth? That was pretty bad. Hello, but I'm not sorry. Bro, I can't even open my drink fast enough for this. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I wanna take like an art history class about Mr. Frog's character design because there's something so beautiful about having like no neck and just his arms are protruding from the top of his head. Amphibia should have been studying this series on how to design an appealing frog. If Amphibia looked like Mr. Frog, I'd watch the whole series. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to... <laughs> Oh my god. How is that even possible? This show is faster paced than like Gumball, dude. Jack, we haven't been following the rule that says someone says Charlie. I don't even understand that rule. Pim starts half of his sentences with the word Charlie. We would be on the floor by now. Let's pretend that didn't happen. It doesn't exist. Erase it. What was the worst part about like the whole ordeal like working on your show? Probably working with all those filthy <laughs> <laughs> What's worse, when iCarly went on Jimmy Fallon, Gibby showed his dick on live television. Is that worse than like Mr. Frog saying whatever Gibby slurs? showed his dick on live television? What the fuck are you talking about? Have you guys not seen the Jimmy Fallon iCarly episode? Hello. I know the world is very angry at me right now for my behavior. Oh, he said hello. Fucking goddamn it. You've shown how toxic you truly are. You're done. <sighs> Please. Looking at us Fuck. as a group, which one of us is Mr. Frog and which one of us is the executive? I think I'm the executive. I'm Mr. Frog. This is my show. This is the bug. What a beautiful morning. Ready for another exciting day, Glip? Uh. F yes. <laughs> F yes. <laughs> Yo, Eden, remember when you said you weren't gonna laugh? Dude, I'm drunk now, so of course I'm gonna laugh. Oh my god, that fit, bro. Slutty. The little flower. He's you, bro. He's you. Oh, someone died. David Firth plays this guy. Salad fingers. Wait, David Firth? Shrimpina meant everything to me. I only realize now she is gone. I never fully appreciated her. He doesn't even have the three <laughs> monitors of his game like stretched out. He just it's has just the same, same thing game. on all it's three the same monitors. Game on all three monitors. <laughs> Are you really gonna do this? That's the difference between you and me, Charlie. I believe in destiny. Positive, Pim. Let's start by getting some sunlight in here. 
<laughs> number 15. Could I get the number 15? Number 15. This is end game for like kids who grew up on YouTube animation. This is cinema. This is cinema. The fucking, I forgot the chills was in this. Look, I told you, man, you need to get over her. Okay, there's plenty more fish in the sea. How do I look, yellow man? <laughs> <laughs> All the drip edits of that. Oh my God. Her art style is so different from any other characters in the entire show. She looks like from this like Fox show called like Bless the Hearts. <laughs> what the fuck? She's pregnant! Oh my god, why is it mostly Pim though? Why is Pim aged rapidly in comparison to her? Oh my god, there's Charlie with his Latina younger girlfriend. Damn, they got that bougie fucking hospital. Holy shit, dude, they're in the future, bro. Are they getting cryogenically frozen? <laughs> like, what the, why are they dying in there? Is my secret admirer here yet? Uh, yeah. <gasps> ew, ew, ew. The teeth. <laughs> That's such an uncomfortable laugh. Oh my god, Charlie and Shrimp are here? God damn, Shrimp, you're just like, you're just like man what are they drinking it's like worm it's spaghetti alcohol dude oh my god it's spaghetti i thought those were like worms or some shit i was always confused like why are they drinking worms my name is jennifer i have never met this woman in my entire life pim who is this <laughs> everybody's so actually confused her name is shrimp ina bro why is she a white woman <laughs> like what are you talking about you're a four foot six shrimp with a receding hairline who loves mouse quest you're literally everything I've ever dreamed about. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, take notes. Take notes. Be a shrimp. Play Mouse Quest. If your hair isn't even receding, bro, just shave that shit. How would you define horror? You know, this is Bill Clinton, modern day. Heard of Bill Clinton? <laughs> this is what he looks like now. Feel old yet? Charlie, what are you supposed to be? He doesn't want to dress up as anything. Charlie has a girlfriend? Like, why is this never expanded upon? Well, Glef has a girl too. Yo, Glef's being completely mommied in the background. I never realized that. He's like being bit feeded in the back. F fed, fed. Not gonna hit that. Okay, you actually hit it. Oh, oh my God, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking loud ass. Oh. oh Wait. One more thing. Whatever you do, don't go past the rickety bridge. I've seen this show too many times. Picking up twigs, picking up twigs. I like, I like picking up twigs. Picking up twigs. This is my favorite song in the show. Dude, this actually went number one on the Billboard charts. You know what they say about Pim. He's the Mozart of Gen Z. <laughs> Damn fucking right he is. I'm not gonna lie, Pim is not being very optimistic right now. <laughs> <sighs> I did never saw the blackface demon go behind the tree, bro. I don't think I ever saw that. Well, it's because whenever you rewatch the series, you find like new things to appreciate. <laughs> Oh my god, they brought it back because he shot Alan in the eye and Alan screamed and then he shot the blackface demon in the eye and he screamed, so it's like they set it up. Is that blackface, dude? No, 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 this isn't blackface. I'm an actual demon. It's bro, what please tell there? me Are that's not blackface. Not this actually happened to one of my friends at a party, bro. What the fuck was he dressed up as? He had like green face paint on, but it was like a dimly lit room. So people thought that he was wearing blackface. Did they do this to him? Yes, he's dead now. Bro, I went to his funeral last week. Oh, that movie was epic! What did you think, Charlie? Oh, this is a Salties episode. This is my favorite episode, I think. You said that like every episode so far. <laughs> <laughs> this one's good, though. Come to Salties and get your new and improved menu items today! Dude, I love the zoom. It like it cuts to the TV and he's just zooming in on his fucking like 20 chins. That's so funny. First they took off the century egg and now this. Awesome. What's a century egg? Oh, it's like a Chinese egg that you bury in the dirt and you dig it up and you eat it after like a hundred days. Oh, the century egg? Dude, I want that so bad. I happen to like it. He says, first they took the century egg. Who's they? Ah, uh, sorry. Unfortunately, as of today, we don't sell the salty delight anymore. I can get you a salty sourdough bread bus, though. It looks like one of those Chia pets, dude. I didn't realize he was such a Karen. I think I'm going to speak to him. Oh, oh shit. 
No! 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 They killed Salty. He's dead. Take a drink. Someone died. Hello? Hey, Charlie, the owner of the famous Salty's restaurant was just brutally murdered. Oh, oh my, oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh. If we go back to Pim's flash forward of his life, I'm pretty sure Charlie was married to that masseuse. The lore. There's so many layers. Or maybe they just reused the character model because of a low budget show. All right, I'm not screwing around here. You two kill Salty or what? Oh no, never. We were spending all day draining the rotten soda from the machine with our soda draining device. All the live action footage is so fun. Who Framed Roger Rabbit looks good, but like this, this looks great. There's something amazing about the green screen scenes because you can tell they just sat the dude in front of a green screen and told him, all right, walk to the right, walk to the left. <laughs> it's not meant to be seamless in the slightest. Oh, I wish I could help, but I was in here all day just doing my routine stock check. I don't even like mustard. Like, I, I think it's one of the worst condiments, but at this point, I'm about to put that shit on everything. She a bad thing. Oh, the century egg. Oh my god. How did you know there was a century egg here? You fucking liar. You cheater. I bet you've already seen this show, you faker. I pre-watched it about 20 times before watching this. On the condition you bury me in the beautiful Chinese Shanghai Pine Forest. Oh yeah, we will definitely go to China to bury you. <laughs> we will definitely go to China. He's fucking salivating at the mouth. He, he's chained up like in the first Saw movie when they're in the goddamn bathroom, dude. We drained all of his blood because he didn't approve of us kissing on the job. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful interracial couple, I must say. Like, honestly, like a, a res... A, re, a, re, a, re, a, re, a remix. A, re, a remix. <laughs> My final burger. After today, I'm going to start eating healthy. My heart. He didn't even have time to swallow. <laughs> he died instantly. That's when you eat Arby's once. That's what happens to you. You know, what, what do they taste like? I've never tried a century egg before. Really? Okay, you have to try it at least once. That's funny as fuck. I never seen the after credits scene. They took him all the way to China and then ate him. I said the last episode was my favorite, but this is up there as well. I like this episode. Wait, you like this episode and yet you don't like Lord of the Rings? Well, th I just think they took the Lord of the Rings formula in this episode and improved it. Hey, could you guys turn that down? I just have a little bit of a headache. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This is Tekken, but good, dude. What the fuck is that? I love this. Someone died in the game. We deliver a royal decree from the princess of the enchanted forest. Imagine how down bad you have to be. Like, you probably called the cops like 20 <laughs> times, but you have to resort to the smiling friends to help you out. Oh my God. Eden's asleep, bro. Oh my God. No, he's just trying to give himself help. The Enchanted Forest isn't for children. It's only for heroes with unrelenting dedication, bravery, and wisdom. Oh, I love you, Daddy. Ew, 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 ew. Did you say ew to the most beautiful kiss in cinema? I like the implication there is that Pim specified in the story he told that he kissed his dad on the mouth. Away with you, you nasty, rotten thing. <laughs> This guy's from the Hobbit animated thing, right, Core? You fucking nerd. Like the Ralph Bakshi one? I mean, it certainly looks like it. His name is Frodo. Oh, dear. A creature of the forest is in trouble. The thorn is stuck inside of the tree. I didn't even realize how stupid that is. I like that Mip is so different visually just because like his line art is a different color than everyone else. And he also has a little bit of drop shadow on him, which no other character has. I guess they're they're trying to do like the simulated cell animation look to him. We humbly give to you the crown of Zimbla. <laughs> I thought you said aliens weren't fantasy, Charlie. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but this is like a Lord of the Rings reference because Pim looks kind of like Smeagol. Give me my little precious thing. That's what he says. Can they kill this guy already? It's like the best scene in the whole show when he's brutally fucking murdered and I fucking love that fucking scene. I think I found a hero worthy of delivering my gift. Who? It's, uh, it's you, Charlie. It makes this so much better that Zach Hadel voices both characters in the scene, that he's flirting with himself in the voice booth. <laughs> Imagine switching from both voices. It's the same voice, it's just pitched up. Be very careful with this creation. I earned it! I earned it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the impalement is so good. Sorry about getting all worked up back there, Charlie. No, I also got carried away with all the quest crap. Sorry about murdering your friend. I love how disconnected from the dude. <laughs> they just moved on, bro. They're done with this guy. He just died in front of them. Oh, 
Hello there. Hello, I'm the Snapchat queen. I am the queen of all bitmojis. That is the animation style that I am in for some reason. Check this out on my Snapchat page. Did you just say MIP? Yeah, yeah, MIP, yeah. He was the entire reason I haven't been able to smile for my portrait. There's so many episodes like this that end on the fucking the M. Night Shyamalan twist, bro. <laughs> she said she had to move twice like she isn't the queen and lives in a giant fucking castle. Did they just airdrop the castle somewhere else? Yeah, he's definitely Yeah, I think dead. he melted it to go. Oh, thank God. Oh, they made her smile. They finally made someone smile. Like, I guess, I guess they did it with Desmond. Uh, hi. Who are you guys? I am Grim, and this is Nali. We're the frowning friends, and we just moved in yesterday. This is just the Powerpuff episode with the Rowdy Boys. <laughs> it is, but it's better, dude. I, lo I love how they, like, the shot reverse shot here. Hello, sir. Why the long face? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm kind of like, uh, freaking pissed off, man. Freaking pissed off, man. I want you to be some artist, man. Like I'm Puerto Rican, man. You're trying to trick me, man. Put smoke into my freaking head and shit, man. Not at all, man. Man, I don't know what to think no more, man. Oh, okay, okay. Why don't we drink every time he says man? Man. Get out of me, head. Get out of me, head. We were just wondering if you needed cheering up today. Well, the shape of my head causes me constant mental anguish. Tooth guy. He's not tooth guy. His name is Mr. Man. It's Squidward if he did fucking trend, dude. What the hell? Why is he so jacked? I never noticed that jacked. Well, it's because he's clearly extremely self-conscious about his head shape, which is like one of the reasons why people start working out a lot, because they're self-conscious about the way that they look. Get out of my head. 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 I think it's a commentary on greater issues that affect men and how they perceive themselves. You're confused. This is a commentary. Yo mama a commentary last night on my 3D smormu. Give us a call and we'll put a frown on that face. They're just a YouTube algorithm, basically. Anytime you feel like improving, we'll recommend you something that'll get you back in the system. This is just you scrolling through TikTok. You get like one video where it's like, scrolling is actually bad. Distractions are bad in your life. And the next one's like brain rot cat videos. Frowning friends, of course. It's genius. Fuck, it's, that's such a funny reaction. Bro. This is like the angry video game nerd seeing the happy video game nerd, bro. He's like, fuck, it's genius. Why didn't I think of it? Perhaps I should do what I should have done. This is MatPat? <laughs> How is this MatPat? I don't think MatPat owns an AR-15. Like, Someone's got to protect the theories, bro. Who's going to protect the theories? The AR-15 is, bro. The brutal cruelties of reality! <laughs> Is this really supposed to be? I mean, I've seen way worse stuff than this on the internet. I've just seen a lot of shit on the internet, bro. Like, I don't need this. I I'm watching an ISIS beheading video that's worse than this. He's just speaking the truth. We can finally eradicate all the Puerto Ricans on the planet! Yeah! What do you say? Yeah! Dude, this just shows that, like, someone screaming confidently is just so beautiful. He was, uh, scared to die and stuff, man. What the f there's something amazing about like a, a Puerto Rican guy supporting like someone whose platform is about hating Puerto Ricans. Cheers to the Puerto Ricans. I just need a Christmas tree for the office. <laughs> that sounds marvelous. A Christmas adventure. Optimistic. Every job we do, you never want to do anything. It sometimes just gets a bit exhausting. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, look, uh, you know, I, I could do the same thing back to you. I could throw stuff at you. Oh, one of the rules was like if they argue, so drink. That's the entire show, though, so. <laughs> is this putting anyone in a bad mood, huh? Is this putting anyone in a bad mood? Someone died. You're gonna be here forever, Charlie, so get used to it. Blah! This fucking creature has nipples and an ass. Like, it's like fucking a naked fat man. It's like kind of gross to look at. Someone says, has been hotel frowny face. This is has been hotel if it was good, man. I would love Charlie to break out into song here. Yo, you got the fucking drink holder and all the Uber Eats. This is Twitch streamer's fucking room. And he has a sure SMB. Oh my god, dude. He's got our mics. Are you seriously criticizing me? No, no, no. Not at all. I'm just trying to help, man. You put me in a worse mood than I was in earlier. <laughs> the fact that he hits the pen is so emblematic. It's so emblematic of that entire behavior. I'm not addicted. I can quit my addictive vices anytime I want. 
<laughs> this is so beautiful. The devil is just a fucking dude who plays Rust all day. It's so fun. Well, like, the fact that you could be playing, like, League and the fucking devil himself is, like, in the same match with you raging. No, the devil would definitely play League. That's not surprising at all. No, what? No, that is not fair. A deal's a deal! They got the cameo fucking, uh... Angry video game nerd. Gilbert Gottfried, bro. That's not Gilbert Gottfried. That's... That's Markiplier. It's Gilbert Godfried. Where's the uncensored version? Give me a Smiling Friends Patreon. I'll pay for that shit. Like, I, th I think they would make like millions of dollars increasing the budget of the show. Oh man, it's so refreshing to finally get a vacation and not have to think about Smiling Friends for two weeks. This episode's great, but dude, the amount of hype for this episode for the troll that occurs was amazing. I watched it with Core in hiding. We sat down and we made a big deal about it and it was fucking bullshit. I was so pissed off. You guys want to go drop the these bags off? I don't, we don't want to be lugging these around all day. Right? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Which hotel where we at isn't it crazy that they only asked him which hotel like when you arrived to brazil like why wouldn't you ask him before this is the most poorly organized fucking trip ever i thought i was just booking the plane tickets uh no Pim, are you messing around or did you seriously that book the hotel i feel bad for pim in this scene why would you feel bad for pim it was his responsibility he's taking the flag for the situation it's like it's their shitty friends for even putting him in the situation where he's in charge of everything in the first place hello i saw you i saw you from across the airport and i was just wondering if like you yeah. are you a tourist that's what my late grandpa looked like bro rest in peace are you a tourist are you a tourist we have a very good stay in brazil my friend all right Thank brazil you. is a very good country Thank yes, you. It is. that is an npc moment they denied his npc interaction you could have had a whole quest line if you talked to that guy i kind of want to see them in brazil though like i want to see them in brazil well who knows maybe season two will actually give us the Brazil episode. Well, shoot. Um, let me see. How the fuck is this episode only 10 minutes long? I feel like I've been here for an hour. This episode is, is an elongated Family Guy bit. It was an experience. That was an experience. We learned. We, we learned, did. Like, Look, you know, what to do next time? We did. It's all right. Um, yeah. Let's just go home. Yep. I like this episode the first time, but like on the second run, I still kind of like it. And if you guys want us to watch more Smiling Friends, season two is coming out soon. If they don't April Fool us, get this video. Oh my God, my light fell. Get this video to six likes. Subscribe. Aromare, Alex McLean. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gurney Snile Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Han, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merck, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Anis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rathoka, Quinn Christian, Sam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Val Explicit, Victoria.